Moving on to the solution for second bit of kernel problem. The given expression is that sine 25 degrees into cos 65 degrees plus cos 25 degrees into sine 65 degrees. Now, in this given expression, there are two terms that is sine 25 degrees into cos 65 degrees plus cos 25 degrees into sin 65 degrees. If we observe clearly, we can convert one of the term in terms of sin and other terms in terms of cos so that this may form an identity. So this can be done by using the formula sin of 90 degrees minus a is equal to cos a and cos of 90 degrees minus a is equal to sin a which is equal to let us express the first term in terms of cos then this becomes cos of 90 degrees minus 25 degrees into cos 65 degrees plus let us express the second term in terms of sin this becomes sin of 90 degrees minus 25 degrees into sin of 65 degrees that will be equal to cos of 90 degrees minus 25 degrees is nothing but cos 65 degrees into cos 65 degrees plus sin of 90 degrees minus 25 degrees is nothing but sin 65 degrees into sin 65 degrees that whole is equal to cos 65 degrees into cos 65 degrees is nothing but cos square 65 degrees plus sin 65 degrees into sin 65 degrees is nothing but sin square 65 degrees. This is in the form of sin square theta plus cos square theta and we know that this value is equal to 1 from identity 1. So now the whole value becomes 1. Therefore sin 25 degrees into cos 65 degrees plus cos 25 degrees into sin 65 degrees will be equal to 1. Moving on to the fourth question. Choose the correct option. Justify your choice. Now moving on to the first bit. He has given an expression. 9 secant square a minus 9 tan square a is equal to. Let us take 9 common in this. Then we get 9 of secant square a minus tan square a which is equal to 9 times we have an identity secant square a minus tan square a is equal to 1 which is equal to 9. So option B is correct for the first word. Now moving on to the second bit. He has given an expression. 1 plus tan theta plus secant theta into 1 plus cot theta minus cosecant theta. So here we have many options. So let us substitute theta is equal to 45 degrees. Then we get a solution that will be 1 plus tan 45 is nothing but 1 plus and secant 45 is nothing but root 2 into 1 plus cot 45 is nothing but 1 minus cosecant 45 is nothing but root 2. Therefore, that will be equal to 2 plus root 2 into 2 minus root 2 which is equal to this is in the form of a plus b into a minus b which will be equal to a square minus b square that is 2 square minus root 2 square which is equal to 4 minus 2 and finally it's equal to 2. So option C is correct. Now moving on to the third question. The given expression is secant a plus tan a into 1 minus sin a which is equal to 
let us write in the simplest form that is 1 by cos a plus sin a by cos a whole into 1 minus sin a. In the numerator, we get 1 plus sin a into 1 minus sin a whole divided by cos a which is equal to this is in the form of 1 a plus b into a minus b which is nothing but a square minus b square that is 1 minus sin square a by cos a from the identity sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 which implies 1 minus sin square a is equal to cos square a so let us substitute here then we get cos square a by a and cos square a by cos a is nothing but cos a so our option will be option d and finally moving on to the fourth bit he has given an expression 1 plus tan square a by 1 plus cot square a which is equal to 1 plus tan square a divided by 1 plus cot square a can be written as 1 by tan square a that is equal to 1 plus tan square a whole divided by let us take tan square a LCM in the denominator then it becomes 1 plus tan square a and as numerator and denominator 1 plus tan square a is common that will be cancelled and finally we are left out with tan square a so our option will be option D again moving on to the second sum write all the other trigonometric ratios of a in terms of secant a now moving on to solution he asked us to express sin cos tan cot secant and cosecant in terms of secant a so in order to express one trigonometric ratio in terms of other trigonometric ratio we shall use the following identities that is sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 one thing and secant square a minus tan square a is equal to 1 other identity and finally cosecant square a minus cot square a is equal to 1 is the three identities which we use to convert one trigonometric ratio in terms of other trigonometric ratio so first let us consider sin a and express it in terms of secant a so in order to express sin a in terms of secant a let us consider the first identity so that sin a is already a term and if we are able to express cos a in terms of secant a then the calculation would be made easy and also we know that cos a is equal to 1 by secant a so by applying the first identity and cos a is equal to 1 by secant a we can express sin a in terms of secant a so by considering the identity that is sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 which implies sin square a plus cos square a can be written as 1 by secant a whole square which is nothing but 1 by secant square a which is equal to 1 that implies sin square a let us make it as subject that will be equal to 1 minus 1 by secant square a now let us take secant square a as LCM then the numerator becomes secant square a minus 1 so finally we got the expression as sin square a is equal to 
secant square a minus 1 by secant square a which implies sin a let us apply the square root on right hand side then the expression becomes secant square a minus 1 by square root of secant square a which is nothing but secant a and secondly let us express cos a in terms of secant a which we know as cos a is equal to 1 by secant a now let us express the tan a in terms of secant a that is tan a is nothing but we know sin a by cos a which will be equal to sin a we obtained it as secant square of a minus 1 by secant a 4 divided by 1 by secant a as we obtain the cos a so as in the denominator of the numerator we have secant a and denominator of the denominator we have secant a that will be cancelled out and we are just left out with square root of secant square a minus 1 and let us also express cosecant in terms of secant a that is cosecant a is equal to we know that cosecant a is nothing but 1 by sin a so which will be equal to 1 by sin a we obtain it as secant square a minus 1 square root by secant a so that will be equal to secant a by square root of secant square a minus 1